Hello everyone. In the previous video, we learned that uh, what is the difference between curl and HTTP clients. So now we decided to use this HTTP client. So let's understand it to uh, how we can structure our project according to our API. So how to structure your project if you are using API. So let's go here and here we are going to use a controller. So we are going to basically uh, crud operation on the customer which is uh, exist in the subscription so let me show you so it's in this uh, chrome tab and if we are in the subscription module so if you are not familiar with this one zoho so zoho is uh, basically a platform where you can get uh, all the services like mail subscription payments and stuff like that so if you are not familiar with this one you can watch my previous videos so here we created our customer plans and uh, different things. So now we are going to create the customers using Laravel. So let's go here and we are going to interact with the customer card. So that's why we are going to implement this through customer. So we are going to generate the customer controller, customer routes and stuff like that. So here you need to create the controller. So where you need to create the controller. So let's take eye on this. PHP artisan make controller. So I did not create it anything yet. So this is a fresh installation. Okay, make controller and then you need to type API. Why? Because we are going to make this separate. So HTTP controller and in the controller we are going to generate the API. So there is two ways. The first one is you can generate the auth and user you can differentiate the auth and user controller and you can place the api inside the auth and inside the user but this is wrong uh, you need to make this separate so you need to create this inside the controller and if uh, there is a administrator api so you can go to the api and in the api you need to create the auth api so this is the correct syntax so it's per, uh, it's not correct it's a personal preference so i'm using this uh, personal preference due to this one due to routing technique like uh, uh, route is structure as api slash and then resource name so that's why i'm naming this like this api and then in the api i'm going to use this for administrator because administrator is going to create the customer or you can use this in the register uh, in the user side because user are registering there but i'm going to update the customer and stuff like that that's why i'm going to create this inside the auth so this is for administrator and in there I'm going to create a customer controller customer controller okay type controller and hit enter so it's going to create the controller API auth and yes it's created customer controller right so now next question arise that how we can go to the resource views and how we can create the resources files so let's go here in the views you need to create a directory of api and then in the api you need to type uh, create a folder auth and then in the auth you need to create a customers customers directory because we are going to interact with the different uh, with the different cards that's why i created this for separate created this uh, for separate customers so here you need to type uh, index because we are going to use this for displaying all of the customer index and then you need to call this uh, show and stuff like that so let me make this show blade dot php and then i'm naming this uh, like uh, edit dot oops i this will okay let's click on this again and do edit dot blade dot php and then you need to create one more it's a create dot php so create dot blade dot php so i'm uh, going through all of the process because uh, i already said that i'm going to make this in real environment that's why i'm not skipping any step okay so here we prepared our prepared our resources so now the time is to let's move to the routes and where we need to create our routes so we are not going to interact with this web.php file why because we are now using api so we are going to use this api.php file why because we are working with the api and by default it's come with the sanctums so here you need to create your own stuff like oh, i'm going to use this uh, get 
and uh, then I'm going to use this customer and then in the customer we are going to call this index but I'm going to first apply the prefix of customer it's a prefix so hope you are familiar with this one so it's a customer and then I'm going to make this uh, customers make this plural and then as method and in the as I'm also using this customers and then I'm grouping this with uh, now uh, this uh, closure okay and type this so we group this and here i'm going to create this uh, a new route which is a get route and i'm going to use this customer slash index and here i'm not going to use this controller anymore why because i'm going to use this controller here because we are in the laravel 9 so we don't need to uh, repeat our all of the stuff so here you need to type controller so my text reader is not suggesting me so here you need to call customer customer controller add this and it's automatically added at the top and here you need to add this a uh, class and then here you need to define only just method you don't need to type the customer name or customer controller again again okay i'm naming this uh, customers is already there so i'm naming this like index so you know that how it's shorter is this it's a very simple route so let me check the video size so it's going bigger so here we are going to use this uh, use this route to open the uh, simple table where we are going to get all our customers right so let's go to the customer controller and create the index method uh, very quickly so public uh, oops and this uh, function function and let me name this index so here I'm going to return this uh, view which one is a view so we created this customer dot index so in the customer I'm going to grab this one so customer dot get dot index this one so we are going to open this route right so how we can open this in the web browser so let's go here and here you need to type first api why because we are using this uh, in the we are in the api.php file and this php file by default let's go to the route service provider and let me show you that uh, route service provider click on this and there is a two type of this in the boot method there is two type of routes this one is raw api and this one is web and by default it's prefix with this apis and this api middleware is also applied so that's why we are entering this here first api and then we are going to type the customers and then we are going to type the index so this will open the index method of our controller and yes it's open there is nothing in the view so that's why returning nothing so in the next video we are going to build this uh, simple table and we are going to display the data in this table so i will meet you in the next one bye, -bye.